A growing interest in popularity in, in organic and locally grown foods has city leaders taking a second look at the rules when it comes to urban farming. When it comes to city codes, many urban farmers were in violation unaware of the rules. Well, tonight, KXAN's Omar Lewis takes a look at the changes to Austin's local food industry and how it could impact what you eat. We're probably one of the first urban farms in America. You can call Carol Ann Sale a pioneer when it comes to urban farming in Austin. People love it when they see the stuff just continually coming out. Boggy Creek Farms is in a residential neighborhood, but you probably wouldn't be able to tell until you take a step in this backyard. This is spaghetti squash. Fields for vegetables and a chicken coop for eggs. We just felt good. Oh, we have urban farms only. No problem. Nobody said you have to register for it. Nobody sent us a letter. Nothing. According to the city's current urban farm codes, they must be between one and five acres. Acres. They're allowed to raise and slaughter fowl, and their products have to be grown here at the site with very little shipped in. Rules Carol Ann was unknowingly breaking all along. We've been illegal on those two big items for us for all these years. 14, 13 years illegal. Well, that makes you feel kind of bad when you don't even know that you were illegal, but you are. <laughs> Earlier this year, the city shut down the Hossbar farm after neighbors complained of a smell and inspectors found violations. City leaders are now working with farmers to gauge their needs and make changes to the rules. There's one proposal to allow an urban farm to be larger than five acres. Uh, there's a proposal to allow them to have sheep, pigs, and goats. Besides adding animals, the city is looking at compatibility with surrounding neighbors which could include making urban farmers get permits for events. While the rules are changing, Carol Ann says one thing will always remain constant. They know who grew it. They know who picked it. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. And tonight, the city's planning commission made their final recommendations to changes to the current urban farm code. Those recommendations will go before, will go before the city council on October the 17th. City of Austin report on Austin's food sector shows why the idea of changing rules to help farming could be a smart one. Two years ago, the numbers from the entire Austin metro area show agriculture sales at more than $350 million. For food manufacturing, the total was more than $450 million. Those two areas alone also employed close to 7,900 people by themselves. That does not include employment numbers for grocery stores, restaurants, or distribution companies. You can see that full report online with this story, as well as additional proposals to the rules city officials could change online now at KXAN.com.